please be advised of the disclaimers. Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Pinnacle Trading here. So today we're going to take a look at the UGAS swing trade quick update and then I'm going to get into how you can actually day trade UGAS if you're not going to swing it, if you're more of a day trader. So let's jump into that. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it to stay notified on all my future videos. All right, let's jump into it. So let's take a look at NG first. So slash NG is the future for natural gas. So that's where we see the price movement and UGAS and DGAS are the ETFs that follow it. They're the 3X ETFs that follow it. UGAS is for bullish, DGAS is for bearish. So they're inverses. So if you don't know what inverse ETFs are, how they work, just Google it and uh, just get a quick understanding. So looking at this pretty big drop uh, this morning and pre-market, we saw a nice buying coming up. So I'm gonna do a quick swing trade update on this one before we jump into the day trading aspect of it. So let's look at the 30 day quick, or sorry, the 180 day. And let's just look at an update on this. So what did we see in August when I called this out? August into September, uh, we saw a nice spike all the way from about 11s uh, on you gas to all the way up to 23. So on NG, it's gonna be about 2.33, all the way up to about 2.9. Uh, almost 2.9 uh, it almost broke but uh got very close and came back down so i alerted this trade uh, if we look at you guys on this one i alerted this all the way from about 11s 12s all the way up to 23 and that's where i got out so pretty much double my money on the swing trade very nicely i scaled in and scaled out of the trade so going back on this what do i see from here so i recently did a video if you haven't seen that one uh, you can watch it but uh this is going to be an update on top of that so i'm going to be doing an update video uh very often on this one as the swing trade goes on and once we get momentum uh, i'm going to slowly you know scale out of the trade like i had scaled in so what do i see right here so we have a double test double bottom test formation right here it's a 2.4 luckily it didn't break it got really close uh, but it didn't break today so that was very good but what do i see on the ema mainly that's the ema right here the yellow line mainly i see it curling up and what happened right here we saw a sell-off so that's going to be the second shakeout so anytime you see that right here so you see a curl up shakeout and then we get some consolidation in this area which i'm talking about right here in the highlighted section uh and then we see the nice run up so we see the consolidation and then what do we see from there we see the nice run up all the way up till there and then we see the sell off come off over there so that's what we're seeing right now we're basically in this section right about here so we're seeing that up and down formation uh once we head into november that's where i see the nice run up coming so let's look at the fibonacci chart on this one and if you don't have that if you are in the chat room already head over to the education tab and then the script is right there and it goes over how to set it up. So that's free for everyone in the chat room. I made the chat room completely free a few months ago. So I hope you guys are finding everything helpful in there. So let's jump back into NG. So looking at the Fibonacci chart, you see that this is the resistance right here, 2.534 on NG uh, natural gas future. So that's where we're seeing it test and a uh, break off from. So let's jump into you guys itself and then we can see where we're at at a price point because i know a lot of you don't trade futures or whatever it is but you should really be watching us slash ng natural gas feature so let's jump into this so ignore my uh buy sell the trades on this one so i'll get rid of those all right so we can see right now we're testing that 12.83 again i didn't expect this drop uh there wasn't really any news on this one but it just looks like manipulation right now uh shaking out of weak hands and just big buyers getting in so looking at the daily chart on this one uh, we can see that buyers you know we saw a drastic sell-off anytime we say we break a big support which was at 13.5 which we saw it held all the week long uh and then finally it broke so just a drastic sell off, you know, panic selling, um, algorithm selling, uh, institution selling, uh, but no reason that we can't make money off of it, which is what I'm gonna get into next. But I see a solid setup, uh, reversal setup on UGAS, 
and today was a big load up if you missed that uh, you still might have a chance tomorrow but I'm looking for a nice uh, bullish report coming up this or next week and a nice run up into November so if you're on the swing trade all strong we're gonna get that big run so let's jump into how you can day trade uh, natural gas ETF or you gas or DGAS but I'm gonna look at you guys right now because that's what uh, I'm long on right now so let's look at this so I'm gonna pull up the trades back up again and I'll show you these are my live trades that I took uh, today so I bought about 400 shares of you guys and I sold all of them right here uh, before close so how could you day trade this so if you aren't in the chat room right now head over to that uh, free chat room button click on that to join or the link will be in the description that's a free chat room that I host and you can join that so this is where I call out all the live alerts I have a separate natural gas section because I trade that often so I saw the drastic drop coming up on pre-market and I started adding uh, pre-market itself so I picked up 100 right at 12.72 and then I added more at a 12.84 I saw a small run-up and then we saw a little bit of more of a sell-off so I saw a nice opportunity to pick it up really cheap 12.52 and I loaded up pretty big and 12.73 was my average I was looking for a 13 break but we didn't get it and then I sold all right before close at 12.96. That was 400 shares. So let's jump back into that. So my average was 12.73, but look at where I added. Uh, we saw it, I added pre-market right here at the lows. So I saw a small reversal coming up. I saw that we hit bottom and I added a little bit more at the open because uh, I was mainly looking to swing these, but it turned into a day trade and I'll show you why. So. It fell a little bit more, a little bit more, and that's where I added at the bottom right there because it was testing that low of this candle, but it came back up again. So as soon as it went up right here, I was looking to sell, but I was looking for more of a breakout, and I'll show you why. Because you see how it's hitting the top of the Bollinger Band setup right here. Uh, you can use a Weebop setup. I use a Bollinger Band setup. It works a little bit better. Uh, it's more clear. Uh, I could have, you could have sold right here. That's actually where my script fire to sell alert right over here so I'll zoom in so we bounce off the bottom we broke that EMA that's the yellow line and we hit the top so you could have sold right there uh, test of 13 it was looking pretty weak and we saw sold up but what happened right here it pulled back and I added more and I could have sold right there so that was an opportunity to sell but I was looking mainly I said I was looking for a swing trade on this one that's why I held a little bit longer for a bigger push and it did try it did break those highs later on and I was like that's it uh, at the end of the day it might you know might make another drop tomorrow so it was a big position so I took profit on that one and my profits on this one which money wise shouldn't really matter it's all about the consistency and the risk management how you play it out but I traded 400 shares with a 12.73 average and sold at 12.96 so that was a nice 91 uh, 93 dollar profit something 90 something like that so that was a very nice trade being that we had a sell off so i'll show you another example how this worked out so these are all live trades guys uh these are all live trades that i took and you can see a thinkorswim again if you aren't on thinkorswim make sure you switch to them because they have free commission i don't get paid to say that i'm not a financial advisor in any way but they have no commissions on stocks etfs right now options are only 65 cents per contract so it's very good i love the platform so looking at this one this was a little bit more tricky so i'm gonna actually pull up the weave up chart on this one so you can see how it kind of worked out so we saw i saw it hitting that lower band which is this one and making a nice bounce so I added right there. I saw MACD curling up a little bit. Uh, and then what happened? It fell. We got a little bit of news. So that's where I added because anytime it drops drastically like that, you want to be adding on the bottom because it usually makes a nice reversal. That's where we see a nice reversal right here. So we see a break of nine EMA, yellow line goes up, goes up. What happened? It didn't break that support or sorry that resistance right there it was really trying and it just looked really weak volume was very low we're getting into the end of the day so i just took profit so my average on this one was about maybe 13.8 or so uh, and i saw that 14.05 so about 20 25 cents per share profit on this one and that was only 200 shares so that was a nice profit on this one but if you 
had waited on this one, but you couldn't have known because news came out on this one. So that's why you have to be careful and set stop loss and so on. But I took advantage of the drop, had time to trade and went all the way up and I took profit on this one. So that's how you can day trade you gas and degas or natural gas ETFs. Uh, or even you can also day trade uh, NG if you have futures enabled uh, on your account. So that's basically my day trade strategy on that. Uh, I'll go more in depth on my course, which will be released uh, by the end of the year of 2019 or early next year. But I'm working on that uh, day and night to put that together and release it. So if you are interested in that, let me know in the chat room on what topics you want me to cover. So that's pretty much it on the swing trade update and on you guys. Make sure to join the chat room. Uh, you can click it right here or the link will be in the description or you can head over to pinnaclotrading.us and click that join now button uh, all the way in the bottom. Again, hope this video helped you out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to you to stay notified. Make sure to support Pinnacle Trading on our social media. Hope you guys all have a great week. It's Monday today. Let's get into Friday. Let's make it a solid green week. Uh, make sure to use these topics that I've taught you in this video for day trading or swing trading. Make sure to join the chat room. Hope you all have a great week and see you in my next video.